Hello everybody, my name is Mrs Coxon and I'm here to take you through today's fraction lesson. Okay, so before we start some new learning today, let's see how you got on with the task from the last lesson set by Mrs Dolling. So let's start with the football's question. Which of the fractions is the correct notation? Well, let's begin by thinking how many equal parts we can see. We can see 12 equal parts because there are 12 footballs, but can you see six equal parts? What if I do this? And can you see three equal parts with three with equal groups of four? If I do this. So if there are three equal parts and two of those parts have been ringed, that means our answer of two thirds is the correct one. So now we've got our correct answer of two thirds, let's look at why the other answers can't be right. So if we take four quarters first, that means we would have to be able to see four equal parts. Can you see four equal parts? Here they are. But all four of them would have to be the same as inside that red ring. So four quarters, that can't be right either. OK, let's take the next answer of eight quarters. So this fraction is still looking at the four equal parts, but our numerator says that we would need eight of them. So that can't be right either. And finally, three quarters. Why is this one wrong? Can you see why? That's right, we'd need four equal parts, which we can make, but three of them would need to be inside the same as that red ring. So that doesn't work either. So three quarters is wrong too. Let's look at our second question now. How many equal parts can you see? Well, we can see 14 equal parts, but there are also seven equal parts. And three of them are shaded, so that means we have three sevenths of the whole. So let's look again why the other answers can't be right. First of all, six eighths. Can we see eight equal parts? No, we can't see them, eight equal parts, so six eighths must be wrong. Now let's try three quarters. Can we see four equal groups? No, we can't see four equal groups either, so three quarters must be wrong too. And finally, two thirds. Can we see three equal groups? No, we can't make three equal groups. So two thirds is also wrong. OK, well done. You're doing really well with representations for non-unit fractions. And in today's lesson, we're going to look at a few different representations. And I'm going to be asking you to test out your reasoning skills and asking you to explain whether something is true or false. So this week the weather's been so lovely outside and I've been busy out in my garden and I've been planting some lovely flowers in some pots. OK, and I've been planted some yellow flowers and I've planted some purple flowers. I wonder if you can see any fractions there at all. OK, so let's see, because Daisy says that she says two fifths of the flowers are yellow. But Will says he disagrees and he says that two thirds are yellow. So I'm wondering who do you agree with? Have a think about that for a minute. You might want to pause the video so that you can have a think about your answer. Well, when we're reasoning about fractions, we need to think about how many equal parts and how many parts are coloured or shaded, etc. So Daisy says, the whole is made up of five equal parts and two of the parts are yellow. So that is two fifths of the whole. So Daisy is correct. OK, another job I've been busy with this week is laying a patio and I've used some light paving slabs and some dark paving slabs to make this design. Now, Jack says that three quarters of the slabs are dark grey. I'm wondering whether you agree with Jack or not. You might want to use this stem sentence to help you with your reasoning and you can pause the video whilst you think of your answer. OK, let's run through it. So the whole is made up of seven 
equal parts. And three of the parts are dark grey, so that is three sevenths of the whole. So Jack is wrong. Well done, did you get that? OK, let's try a few more of these now. Remember to use your stem sentence to help you reason. And I'm going to show you some representations and I want you to agree or disagree if they represent a three fifths. So here's the first one. So do you agree or do you disagree? And see if you can use the stem sentence to help you think about that. Just give you a couple of moments to think that through. OK, let's go through that sentence together. The whole is made up of five equal parts and three of the parts are ringed. So that is three fifths of the whole. So, yes, that representation does show three fifths. OK, let's have a look at another one together now. What about this one? OK, here we go. So again, remember to think about how many equal parts there are all together and how many are shaded. So does it show three fifths? Think about using your stem sentence again. OK, so the whole is made up of eight equal parts. So it doesn't show five equal parts, does it? And three of those are shaded. So that would be three eighths altogether. So that would be incorrect. OK, I'm just wondering now if we can perhaps think about how we can change that diagram so that it does show three fifths. Can you think about what you might need to do? Any ideas? Yeah, I can hear you thinking. OK, well, if we got rid, watch carefully, if we got rid of three parts, now we have got three equal parts that are shaded and there are five equal parts altogether. Well done if you spotted that. Fantastic. So my next slide is for you to have a go yourself with these three different diagrams and these three questions. So. Each time I want you to think carefully about whether the diagram shows three fifths. So you can pause your video now so that you can have a chance to have a good think about those three questions and we'll go through them in a moment. OK, everybody, how did you do? Let's talk through each one. So let's start with our triangles. So here we've got five equal parts and three of them are shaded. So that means, yes, it does show three fifths okay and the next one our ticks here we go here we've got five equal groups there they are and three of them are ringed so again it does show three fifths so well done if you got that one let's move on to the next one the last one here we've got five equal groups again but only one of them is ringed so does that show three fifths no, that doesn't show three fifths at all. So well done if you got that one correct as well. Just have a think about that last one. I'm wondering if you can think about what we would need to change to this diagram to make it show three fifths. Can you have a think? Can you see it? That's right. Yes, we would need to ring two more groups, wouldn't we? Two more groups and that would make it correct. Well done, everybody. OK, everybody, are you ready for a challenge? OK, so here we've got our shape here, our diagram. And Juan says that three sevenths of this shape is green. Is he right? What do you think? Is Juan correct? What do you think? Well, if we have a look at the diagram, what do you notice? Anything at all? Well, have we got equal parts? No, we haven't got equal parts. Did you spot that? Well done. Yeah, so if we make the spot, the parts equal, and this we've got equal parts now, all together we've got eight equal parts, and three of them are shaded, so our fraction would be three eighths. So the one, one isn't correct, is he? He's wrong. Okay. You might like to take that question and explain to a grown up uh, why three sevenths is wrong. OK, let's try something even more challenging now. Now, with all this lovely sunny weather that we've been having, I've been planting some sunflower seeds in some plant pots and not all of my seeds have grown into sunflowers. So I planted um, a, a number of seeds and this is five sevenths of what my seeds produce. So 
I want you to have a think about what one seventh is. So here is five sevenths. What is one seventh? So you see if you can have a, a draw and, and draw what you think one seventh would be. You might want to pause the video again while you do your drawing. OK, did you have a think about how many seeds I planted all together? That's right, I planted seven seeds. So there was one seed in each pot. So if there are seven parts all together, what is one part? There we go, there's one part. So one part would be one sunflower. So if that's what you've drawn, well done one for getting that one right as well. Well, after all my hard work in the garden, I thought about adding just a finishing touch and, and, and hanging up some lights. So here are two fifths of the lights that I have hung. And I wonder if you can draw what one fifth would be. And you can pause your video whilst you do this if you need to. OK, how did you do? Let's talk it through. Here are two equal groups and those two equal groups represent two fifths. So five fifths would mean we would need three more equal groups. And from our five fifths, one of those fifths would simply be two lights. Did your answer match mine? Well done for that one. OK, everybody, well done for today. I've really enjoyed teaching you today. We've come to the end of today's lesson. But before we, uh, we, we finish, I'm going to leave you with a few questions for you to have a go at before our next lesson. So have a go at these three questions, a bit more like the last two we've just done. Uh, take care and I'll see you soon. OK, bye bye.